Well, welcome to this Excel tutorial where I'm going to show you four different ways to translate your workbooks from one language to another language in Excel. And you'll learn how to do it on individual cells, how to do it on multiple cells, and how to do it on entire workbooks or entire worksheets, including how to control which columns are automatically translated. If you need to translate your Excel data, this is the tutorial for you. And remember to download the file you see here so that you can work along with me. It is on teachexcel.com. It's completely free. I'll put a link to it below this video. And while you're there, of course, give our Excel courses a look. We have thousands of happy customers and we have helped them automate their workbooks and streamline their workflows. There is so much you'll be able to do once you take those courses. I highly recommend you check them out. Now let's dig into this tutorial. We have two worksheets here in one workbook. This worksheet basically just explains what's going on. So we have a little report and here is our report, our list of items. The very first thing that we are going to do is a very simple single cell translation. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we can use the great new function equals translate. Then we select the cell to translate comma and select the source language. Look at all these languages. We're going to go for EN for English because uh, that's what the cell is currently in and ES for Spanish so that we can translate it into Spanish. Enter. Sometimes it takes a moment or two to translate. And there we go. A neat little thing you could do with that, by the way, is to have a one source worksheet like this list right here and then another translated list over here and a drop down at the top where you could choose the language that you would like to read your list in. That's a pretty cool little thing. We're not doing that in this tutorial. I just thought of that, but there are so many cool things that you can do with the translate function and it's very easy to use. The next one is a built in translation feature with Excel. So let's click this cell, go to the review tab, and look what we have right there, translate or alt shift F7. Choose the language of the selected cell, the language to translate to. There you go. We can click in here, select everything, go back out here, and we have some Spanish. Now that's not a feature that I use very often. It's probably only good for one-off translations where you want to see what something is, but it can be helpful. So review tab, translate. But now let's get into the fun stuff. Translating a lot all at once. The first thing that we're going to do is to translate the entire workbook, including even the tabs down here. And this is so easy, you might be kicking yourself if you've actually translated an entire workbook by hand recently. Google Translate. This is the regular Google Translate. I am logged in, but I haven't paid for anything. So translate.google.com. I click Documents. Drag the Excel file in. Choose the language from English to Spanish. Translate. Wow, that was fast, actually. <laughs> Download. And here we go. Everything completely translated, even down here for the tabs. I'm still amazed by how easy that is. But now let's take a closer look at this workbook, because there are some things that I don't particularly like about it. So we always have to be careful when we are translating things. Notice here. These have all been translated. These are supposed to be the part names. So green has become a verde. Nice. And the type C has become D O. Okay, great. That might be a problem, <laughs> especially if those are not things that should be translated. So over here, we're very happy. The descriptions have been translated, but we want to keep these guys the same. And here's the original workbook. So you can see what I mean. We have green one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And then the type. 
Generally speaking, I'm going to assume these three columns you don't want translated because they probably line up with other data sets and they need to be spelled exactly the same in order to correctly line them up. And this is where AI comes into play. Now we could use AI for everything, but Google Translate is just so great, so amazing, so fast that I recommend using it when it can help you. But with AI, what we're going to do is to say, hey, I want you to translate this. Make sure that you translate these guys up here as well, but do not translate anything in the item and type columns. If you wanted, you could include the category or whatever other column you wanted. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. And the first thing is that even though in ChatGPT, we could copy this entire workbook like we did with Google Translate and we could tell it what we wanted it to do, it is a bit finicky. It kind of has a little mind of its own and there are many problems that crop up. So I'm gonna show you what I found is the easiest way to translate it, which is to identify the worksheet that's most important to be translated. In this case, it's going to be the list worksheet. Then we're going to export this as a CSV, so a text file. That's much easier to work with than an Excel file. So take your Excel file, go to the worksheet tab that you'd like to export and go to file, save as, and now we're going to resave this, but instead of an Excel workbook, a CSV and choose the CSV UTF-8 version. It's going to make it easier to save and display international characters. Then we hit save. It's just letting you know that it's only going to save the currently visible worksheet as the CSV because you can't save multiple tabs in a CSV. So we hit OK to do that. Now that we've saved that, let's go ahead and close this file and take a look at the CSV. Excel is going to open it by default and it looks like we have a spreadsheet that's just because it has separated everything into columns. Notice we only have one tab down here. And if we open this in Notepad, this is what we will see comma separated columns. So this is going to be much easier for ChatGPT to work with. And here we are in ChatGPT. I am using the new O4 mini high model and we have a very simple prompt. Let me walk you through it and show you how you can change it for your needs. Translate the attached CSV file from English to Spanish and return a new CSV file with the translation. Ensure that the new file properly displays international characters. That is very important. Otherwise, somehow it seems to mess that up. Then we tell it what we do not want it to translate. Do not translate item or type columns, both within quotation marks. Do translate the column headers. Return a link to download the new CSV file. If you don't have that last line, sometimes it simply won't return the link to download the new file. It'll say, hey, I made a new file for you, but I'm not going to tell you where it is. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's what happens. Now we copy it in our CSV file, translateworkbook.csv, and let's go. It will think for a while. It will do a bunch of stuff up here while it's thinking. And then at the end, sometimes it'll talk to you in Spanish. <laughs> but then we have our link to download the file. And when we open it up, we have uh, lots of translations, but the item and the type column have not been translated. We have green, one, two, three, four, five, six, C, B, C, C, A, no D, O. And it looks pretty darn good. Now it has taken a little bit off the top here. We did have an additional kind of header title a couple rows up. And you definitely want to go through and make sure everything looks good before you send it off. But that's how you can use AI to translate your Excel workbooks. So you now have four ways to make translations. I hope that you have found this tutorial helpful. And if you have, please make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon and give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'm happy to hear what you think, and if you have any additional questions, let me know. And remember, of course, you can download the file completely for free from teachexcel.com. The link is below this video, and of course, when you're there, please take a look at our Excel courses that teach you how to automate Excel. It has saved thousands of people countless hours, and it's perfect for anyone who has to work in Excel on a daily basis. 
So give it a look. Have a great day and see you next time.